Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And I have geared myself up quite a bit since the last time I was here. Just wanted to let you know I now have some more rods, some more gear. I've got the most basic setups here. I've got the Corona S60MH. That is your most basic spinning rod. And I've got the Sorrento FD100. And that's the most basic feeder rod. Now, I've got on each one of these, I don't have a seriously heavy line because mainly I want to start off easy. Now, the reel on here is only 3 kilogram, so I really don't want to go too heavy. I think with 3 kilogram, I might be able to go 8 pound test, but not really any more than that. The low capacity is about 2.3 kilograms, so. I do have a leader on here because I found out the hard way if you don't have a leader on a spinning reel, um, something's going to bite it off. And I got this little express fishing tiny spoon on here just to see how well that will do. I also have myself a new feeder rod with the express fishing spark. That's another entry level reel. And it can handle a little more, well actually about the same really. But I've got heavier line on here since it is uh, going to be bottom fishing. I've got a number four pair sinker, which is about 30 gram weight. Um, you can or you can have a leader on these, but it's not totally necessary. Uh, eventually, I just put them on there just for safety more than anything else. I did get a decent sized Siberia CHK 201 S14 hook because I'm going to see if I can't lay myself into a catfish out there somewhere. And that's what this diced cheese is for. We're talking catfish, I'm hoping. So even if it's a little bit, I'd be happy at this point. But I think we're ready to go. We've got a little bit more line. I got it picked up. We have a few lures here. Of course, my hypnotic 20.008. That's my favorite. Uh, these icon fats, which are great for skittering. Skittering along the bottom means you are bottom bouncing. And these dragonfly streams, dragonfly longs. All these are good lures. And of course some extra hooks, because I lost quite a few. And I picked up a little more bait. Now I've got some red worms here, but I happen to have dug up a red worm too, on top of it. Got some blood worms, got some casters, which are kind of like pupae, uh, more maggots. I got plenty of maggots. Those things are useful as I'll get out. I got uh, some pearl barley, some sweet dough, and some diced cheese. I already had the corn seeds. So I've also got some fixings here for some ground bait, crackers, millet porridge, and sunflower oil. And I, this was a must right here. I got myself a shovel and I got myself a landing net which I seriously needed last time. So I definitely seem to be a little bit more geared up. You really don't need more than this this level guys. This is pretty much what you need at a level 6. You don't need a whole lot more. You might be able to get another higher level uh, feeder rod, maybe another like a Sorrento FD-130. But it's not necessary. This will get you where you're going. And let's go ahead and get out there and start setting a few things up here. Yeah, guys, just for your knowledge, this location is called Perch or Forest Camp. I was going to call it Perch Creek. It's actually Forest Camp. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that feeder rod. When I always cast it before, I used to cast it right over this direction. Towards those weeds. Should be a drop off there. And I just want to see what, if anything, is going to go after this cheese. I've always had a lot of luck with cheese when I fished for it in real life, so let's see why it wouldn't work very well here. But this is sweet dough. We're 
Wait a minute. Did I hear a jingle? Mm. Well, there's a little bit of wind. Maybe it was just the wind. I'm thinking it was just the wind. Okay. We're going to have to get over here to get this over there where I want it to be. We just got regular dough balls on this. And if nothing goes for the cheese pretty soon, I think I'm going to put something else on there like dough balls or corn. Anyway, guys, let's just wait here and see what happens. Guys, looks like we got something. Ooh, he is a decent fish. Yeah, I get tired of fishing over there, so we came over here to see what we could do and. fish is really giving me a fight. Good job. Come on. He's coming. He's gonna make one last run, huh? We got here, guys. I think it's a pike. There it is. 119. 8.53 grams. I think I'm going to take a picture of him. He's the first one I've gotten since I got the new gear. Come on and smile. Say hello. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep him. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah. Looks like I got another one here. I got it off one of those casters. Well. Shoot, I've got some kind of a advertisement that's covering up my... There we go. Common Roach. Nice size one. Yeah, I had a pop-up on my screen come up and I couldn't see what I was doing. 123 XP. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I wasn't even paying attention. These... These little pupa are really pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Yeah, I was just... I had been fishing over there on that side and not having any luck, so I thought I'd move over here to the dock and as the morning came on. And I just started fishing. I figured since nothing was happening, I wasn't going to start recording and then all of a sudden all heck broke loose <laughs> nice little north well I don't think they're northern pike I think they're just pike that wasn't a bad little fish not bad little fish at all there's some monsters in here though we gotta be careful that's kind of why I was going with this smaller lure. I'm using this. Let's see what it's called here. Ex 
Brush Fishing Tiny Spoon. It's only 13 grams. So, we'll kind of keep it a little on the smaller side for now. I'd love to get out the red hypnotic, but that thing can lay in some big fish. I am saving that probably for the winding rivulet. That's when we're going to get some spin fishing fishies. Anyway, I'm just going to keep doing this. If something else comes up, I'll bring you back. I had a bite. And he let go of it, but I think I'm getting that other one is getting something on it, so I'm gonna have to put this down for a second. He, I don't know. He got it. Well, let me go ahead and switch baits here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some red worms on here. Red worms are pretty popular. I'm gonna go kind of a little bit, a little bit more shallow here. Still nothing on the feeder rod. I was a little disappointed. I thought I had something. When I was bringing this in, and he quit on me. Well, I tell you what, I think I'm going to put. A, I did take it out of the wall. Oh, okay. I want to put a different lure in here. I'm going to put this icon fat on there. Maybe we can do a little bit of skittering. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the dock is right over here on the right, and it juts out just to the left of a big hole. So I'm going... So if it's going there, then the hole should be right over there. Let's see how far we can cast this dude. Well, I'm not so sure that's over the hole. We're going to put this down anyway. What we're going to be doing... Wait a minute. Let me pick it up first. I forgot to set the real speed, but what you got to do is you got to set the real speed all the way up as high as it'll go. Then put it down. And then what we'll do is we'll do what we call skittering. like every couple of seconds you just tap the Y button and that'll bounce that lure along the bottom of the lake and hopefully attract something Okay, looks like we're getting another bite off this one. Take a look out there. Yeah, I'm surprised I can't see him. It's only 20 centimeters underwater.
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. That's carpish, I guess. can't decide whether he wants it or not, can he? And we got him. Common Roach. Grab our first rod. I'm going to go ahead and reel this dude in. I'm going to recast it. So I was never really that happy with where it went. I want it to go right straight in the same direction as the other. That's a little better. Now I've had a lot of success with skittering over at the winding rivulet, but I really haven't had any success here yet. Kind of want to just see if it... I mean, I'm sure it can be done. Guys, I just got something on the feeder rod. A big old bite here. Holy crap. Here we go. Here we go. Something bit off the cheese. Patience has one out. What have we got? What have we got? Come on here, fishy. Thought he got off of there for a second. He's not off of there. Ooh, nice common roach. Very nice. Well, looks like the roach go for cheese. Want some cheese, please? Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here on our second rod. I think we've been not getting a whole lot, but i tell you what guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode, but I think we got a good start with our new gear here. I hope you all enjoyed that episode. Let's go ahead and see what we got fish-wise. We didn't get a whole lot of fish this time. That's not uncommon. You might not always get a lot of fish, but check out the cash on them though. Look at this common roach. 1.98 and this one over here 1.86 I mean not too bad not too bad guys the most expensive fish so wasn't a failure at all honestly but anyway guys Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. So until then, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.